Instagram wall. That's how my room looks like at night. I'm super, super jet lag. Check out my video. I made a room tour. This would be very, very busy and hustling. Cultural differences, you know, you appreciate. If you're a light sleeper, this might not be the place for you. There's just one thing that I wish they had here. I do wish that they had a table and a chair. actually a nice space to do some yoga or meditation. and it's not a joke. I'm so jet lag. In case you're wondering how much this room costs, do check out the next few videos that are gonna come out after this. I will be talking about how much I paid for this room. I actually don't remember now because it's been a while. I reserved earlier thinking that I'll be able to get discounts and actually I did get loads of discounts. So I found out that booking online is a lot cheaper than going to the actual hotel to going to Picasso. I'm staying here for six days or probably five days depending how early my PCR test comes out. That's another video. Check out all the requirements, procedures, and what it's like traveling. So I've created several um, videos just to you know, inform you or make it a little bit easier in case you're wanting to travel as well during this time of a pandemic. I'll be showing you the breakdown of how much I spent for this hotel and how I was able to get a discount. So keep in mind also, I'm pretty sure that the hotel's prices will change as time goes by. Hopefully it gets more affordable for you. Um, if not, hopefully the discounts that I'll be showing you will be of some help. That is the night for the night. I'm pretty pleased with the balcony. And I'll see you in the morning. I'm gonna make a room tour of this place during the day because I actually haven't seen this hotel and what it's like during the day. I'm so excited to wake up and check out how the balcony looks like. I don't know how my view is like when there's sunlight. Good night! I don't think I've slept very well since I got here. I am extremely jet lag. So what I actually did while I couldn't sleep, I made a list of quite a couple of things that I have to request from the front desk. They, I actually couldn't do that when I arrived because, believe it or not, and it says here on the paper, I'll go through with you the details in my other video. Um, this is the only hotel that doesn't have a 24-hour operator. So starting 11 p.m. until 6 p.m., you are on your own. Like, yeah, you just can't call anybody and so if there's an emergency or whatnot which i did bring up uh when i checked in the front desk was just like well if you have an emergency he's just like you know he did that so it's a bit strange so there's something to take note if you plan to uh book with picasso it says um starting january 11 2022 until further notice so just keep in mind that you won't have help or if you need water in the middle of the night or if you need anything there's just simply nobody here between 11 p.m to 6 a.m right now let's call the operator it's 7 a.m in the morning uh, there should be somebody to assist and hopefully she's a nice friendly receptionist or whoever's at the front desk Hold on, your call is being rebooted. Rebooted? To where? To address me? Here's what it looks like, 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. 
hotels open up in limited to 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. So 7 a.m. right now, there should really be somebody answering. Um, it is very, very strange. I know I did call the right number. Um, yeah. Somebody should. There's somebody that should pick up. <sighs> I'm gonna get back with you and see if I can try calling this mobile number. So it does say. Operating hours will be 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. You may reach us by dialing zero, so let's do that. Honestly, it's already 7 a.m. Have a look at that, and there really should be someone picking up. This is uh, very new to me, not being able to call anyone at the front desk. This is like the first hotel in my entire, entire life. So it does say limit to, limited to emergencies. Um, I can call this mobile number. So while the landline is ringing, maybe I should try calling that number. It's not really an emergency, but it's so weird that nobody's answering. Very, very strange. So then I don't know what that says about their customers. This is alarming. What if, what if there's, what if I have no food and I need to order, or what if there's no water and I need water? This is um. So I've dialed the mobile number. Both landline. Good morning. Thank you for calling the big Mahati. Hi. Yes. Hi. Who's this? This is Rafael from the front desk. Uh, may I know on the line, huh? Yeah, I'm trying to call uh, the front the zero, but no one's answering. It says here 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. Yes, Is there any way someone can can answer my call? Yes, ma'am. I'll call to your room. What's your room number? 307. 307. All right, we'll do, ma'am. I'll call back to you. Thank you very much. Um, just as it's taking another Okay. Yeah. You're welcome. Okay, bye. Bye, ma'am. So... He's very friendly. However, he did say he was assisting another guest and he did say he was going to call. I'm just so shocked. I actually haven't slept, but um, let's just wait for the call. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Hi, Rafa. Hi, Mr. Rafa. Sorry yeah. to call you. Yeah, uh, yes, ma'am. What's your concern? So, Shireen, no worries. Um, I, I understand you're probably short on staff. Because of COVID, is is that why it's a bit of a struggle to get through? Correct, yes ma'am. Yes ma'am, we're just having multiple calls as well and having tons of check-in and check-outs ma'am. How can I assist you? I need to request for pans and pots and... Uh, for the kitchenware. I'm not able to ma'am, I do apologize, but I'll inform housekeeping now ma'am once the uh, call is over. Um, and also Rafa, yes, um, do, do you provide ropes for your guests? What, ma'am? Sorry? Robes? Bath robes? You know, Bath after... robes. Okay, I'll have a check with the housekeeping as well. One last request, if it's all right. Um, the USB ports beside the bed are all not... Are, are all malfunctioning. I was wondering if it's possible to request for an extension cord. Extension cord. Okay, then is it okay if we have the USB port checked as well, ma'am? Okay, ma thank you so much, Rafa. I'll, I'll just be on standby and I'll wait. <laughs> okay, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Bye. So that was the call. Um, let's see if somebody is able to come here. Actually, I did try these USB ports and they are pretty much malfunctioning. So I've tried both of them and they're not so okay. I noticed, well, I decided that I prefer sleeping on this bed um, just because I suppose it's away from the door there. There's a lot of light, so. Anyway, just trying to maximize any darkness I can here. There are two more USB ports here. However, I'm not staying there. I'm not staying on this bed. So, yes. First new day here in Picasso with sunlight. Let's go check out what it's like.
opening the curtains. This is like the grand reveal. This is like the prize for staying here. I did choose this hotel particularly because they have a balcony. Let's go check it out. 